roomies, hey roomies, hey, good morning. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the rest of the videos that I've made in the past because today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself and I'm gonna introduce you to three of my favorite beings in the world. You heard me, beings. <laughs> I really, really, really love animals. Like, not on some cat lady like shit, but like I really, really love animals. Like one day when I'm rich, I feel like I'm going to have like a big ass mansion, but like somewhere on, in my acres, it's gonna be farmland. And on that farm are gonna be a bunch of exotic animals and shit that I like because I like all animals, birds, fish, turtles, basically cats, dogs, cows, horses, goats, sheep, alpacas, everything you can think of, I love it. Like I'm literally probably one of the weirdest girls ever or one of the most awesome girls ever, period. Because I really, really, really love animals. Like you could take me on a date to go fishing and I'd be in heaven. Awesome or no? Okay, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna introduce you to the oldest member of my family named Michelangelo, my very first ninja turtle. This is Michael Angelo. Yeah, he um is now about four years old. I know he's still kind of small. They live for about 10 years. So he's almost reached half of his life expectancy. Um, I don't know, he's a very timid turtle. His little brother Raphael is a lot more excitable and a, a lot more friendly to being held. Whereas Michelangelo, as you can see, it's not even like getting out of his shell. It takes him a really, really long time. Even when I give them like floor time, he is just too scared. He's like too hesitant to go out into the world to venture out. But his brother pokes his head out and gets to run in immediately. Like his brother greets me at the at the glass, okay? His brother be like, Mom, feed me. But I will say about this guy because he is bigger than his little brother he's a little bit more aggressive when it comes to like eating so if you're thinking about getting turtles and you want more than one i would suggest getting them both young together because if you get one and then a few years later like i did which was like a year later i decided that i wanted to get Raphael because i just love michelangelo so much that I decided to get another one. Um, I didn't realize how much of a pain it would be, not for me, but for Raphael to have to fight to eat and how I would have to separate them until Raphael was old enough to fight back. But luckily for me, Raphael kind of, he is scratching at the tank trying to get to me, it's so cute. Um, but Raphael surprisingly was a really good fighter. Like he wasn't having that. I would like tap on the gate, like the gate, or I would tap on the glass. There we go, I can't speak, sorry, I just got off work. But I would tap on the glass to try and tell him to meet me on another side of the <laughs> tank so that I could feed him over there because this guy likes to step on people's backs and heads to get their food. But this is my Michelangelo, he is a red eared slider it's pretty big it has a gorgeous 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 shell and if you do get turtles the way that you can tell if you have a boy or a girl is this ridge right here so you'll notice that his spine is a lot like you can really see it is clearly defined very very clearly defined um Raphael is a little bit more defined than his but it'll be a sharp spine like you'll be able to tell um also if the place that you get your turtles from do not tell you what kind of turtle you have you can tell by the bottom of their shell this is a big big tail as to what kind of a turtle you have hey hey mama's big boy that's 
What's up? He's over here opening his mouth. Do you wanna open it for the camera? Yeah, you wanna open your mouth? No, just for mama? Okay, well, say bye to YouTube. I'm gonna introduce them to your little brother, Raphael. Or maybe I'll let them see you and Raphael next to each other so that way they can see how small he is compared to, to you. However, I will say they've both been growing phenomenally since I put them in their new tank. Honestly, it was my fault. <laughs> it was mama's fault. This is Raphael, Michelangelo's little brother. And you see how he's already out of his shell? He is ready, okay? He is ready to go, okay? Ralph is so much more exciting than Michael. Even though mama's had you so much longer. You're just you're just getting old on me, I guess. I, I guess so, huh? So mama's gonna put you back in the water. And we're gonna talk about Ralph. So, Ralph is also obviously a red-eared slider. Um, and as I was saying, his ridge on his back is so much more like defined than Michael, so it was so much easier to know that Ralph was a boy versus a girl. And he is so, so cute. Uh, I like him a lot. Not saying that I don't like Michael a lot, but I really enjoy the fact that Ralph is so much more social. Not just with me either, but like with friends and family that come around. He gets to know them, huh? Grandma loves the turtles. Like, she'll hurt me if I hurt them. Seriously. <laughs> it's kind of scary. But it's the truth. But okay, back to Raphael. Raphael, even though he is smaller than Michelangelo, is actually a lot tougher than Michelangelo. Even though he's a little younger than him, he is a lot more comfortable around people. And he's a lot of personality. That's what I'll say. And the reason why I gave them Ninja Turtle names is not because I'm corny and they're turtles. But when I first got Michael, he was an escape artist. I don't care how I set his tank up. I don't care what size tank he had. That boy was getting out of that tank. And because of that, I gave him a ninja name because he was a ninja. I couldn't understand. Like... Every time I'd put him in a new tank, he'd escape. And once I got Raphael, he'd just leave his brother. So I was like, I don't know what to do because I put you in a tank, you get out. You get out, put you back in. I don't know what to do. But that was Raphael. Now, moving on to Mama's little girl. So this is Mama's girl. This is Phoebe gonna be really hard to do this video because she does not stay still she does not like to be held at all but this is Phoebe the hamster my little Syrian hamster some people also call them teddy bears they're us oh, I'm trying to hold her so hard they are super super cute a few facts about Phoebe her scent she has scent glands um, so if you're thinking about getting a hamster, it's very important that you know this because they do stink. They stink a lot, okay? A lot, a lot. And I've noticed that like when she gets nervous or she's scared or she doesn't feel comfortable, she will, like, that scent will come out a lot, okay? Like, and it'll be all on your hands. It doesn't matter how many times you wash your hands it'll it'll be on it's you okay that scent is on you hey 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 she just bit me stop it stop it oh you're pooping I to let her go <laughs> she started pooping in my hands
it didn't get in on my hands, luckily. But as soon as I flipped her, there was shit coming out of that booty, okay? Not what I needed this morning. But okay, listen to you talking about Phoebe without Phoebe in the camera because Phoebe is not a camera girl. Let me go close her case. She's an escape artist too. So Phoebe the hamster. She is a Syrian short-haired hamster. She is super cute. Like I said, her scent glands are located on her hips and they do really stink. If you're thinking about getting a hamster and smell is something that you're not okay with, I would steer away from it. <laughs> um, only because, again, that scent, like you can keep her in the cage if you'd like, but I like animals, so I don't wanna keep my animals caged all the time. And so sometimes I give her floor time and you know, sometimes the house smells like Phoebe. <laughs> But that doesn't mean I can't clean it. I vacuum, shampoo the floor, wipe down some things, and I try and keep her in the same area when I do do it. So that way it's not the whole house. It might be like the living room area. Might smell like Phoebe a little bit. But then I vacuum, spray some spray. I'm good, pretty good. Burn some incense, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> um, but I also would like to note, like, don't if you are going to do, like, incense or sage, because I am a big sage bunna. <laughs> um, I've noticed that when I burn sage in that house, she can smell it and she used to acting, like, a little drowsy. So I would stare away from using it near, like, their cage, if possible. Whenever I do burn sage, I try and make sure to avoid the area of the room where she is and to keep a fan or a window open so that it is ventilated and there's no problems there. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. But okay, so let's talk about food. My animals, feeding them. Ooh, so different. The turtles are super, super, super simple, at least for me. I um buy them feeder fish whenever they run out of feeder fish and I give them a, a blend because they are big enough to be able to eat these pellets. I buy them these gourmet aquatic turtle pellets. I like these because it has a good blend. Like I like buying them mixes that have multiple different things to you know supplement their diet so they're not like eating the same thing all the time like I don't like eating the same thing I'm sure you don't like eating the same thing so why should they be forced to eat the same thing like when I had a cat I did the same thing for her she was so spoiled because mama did it okay we was eating filet mignon and shit for dinner period that's all she wanted to eat she wouldn't go back to kibbles and bits <laughs> okay so for them I like this because it has mealworms it has some shrimp it has um, cherries, and then it also has those pellets that have like all the rest of the vitamins and stuff that they need, which is awesome. Thinking of which, time to feed the turtles. Time to feed Phoebe. This is gonna be exciting because she likes to eat. <laughs> because she likes to forage in her natural habitat, instead of having a food dish, I basically just kind of shuffle her food around and allow her to forage for it so that she feels a little bit more at home. And that way she has, you know, more things to do with her life. <laughs> she can run around and play and things. So I make sure I give her that blend. I make sure I also add in here some fresh vegetables and fruit so that she's well well fed and so what i like about phoebe is i may not feed her every day because what happens is she will 
find all of the food that I have now put in her home and then she will collect it all in her cheeks and then after she does that she will find her little hiding place wherever that may be and store all of her food for a few days so I don't feed Phoebe every single day because I don't have to because Phoebe stores her food she doesn't overeat and I really like that too that it's so now you guys have learned a little bit about my little family that I have here at home and you've learned a few facts about me by learning about them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably a strange one. It's kind of hard for me to come up with ideas when I have to post every day for Vlogmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my extended family at home and until the next time it means have a good day. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Tomorrow, I'll be teaching you guys how to make apple cinnamon pancakes because I am craving them. And I mean, food videos. I just do food videos. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a food addict. I mean, I had to get all this gut from somewhere. Damn! And this damn chin! See you guys next time till we do it all again.